When temperatures drop, all kinds of changes happen in the world of biology. We talk to our experts about how creatures cope with the cold. Reptiles need warmth to be active, so when their environment cools down, they enter a period of inactivity called brumation. They'll spend the entire winter season deep inside a burrow until temperatures rise again. Bees also hide from the cold. Inside their hive, they form what's known as a winter cluster to stay warm. Huddled together, they vibrate their thorax muscles to generate heat. The closer a bee is to the center of the huddle, the warmer she is. Unlike bees and reptiles, plants can't hide from the chilly air. During winter, they slow down or stop growing since there's less sunlight for photosynthesis. Did you know that temperatures affect the gender of some turtle species? Colder temperatures produce females, while warmer temperatures produce males. For humans, when an embryo is frozen, it can stay alive indefinitely. This process, called crowd preservation, helps people who are infertile have healthy babies. <laughs> Have you ever heard the phrase Scandinavian tailor? Hello. In colder climates, humans have evolved to have shorter arms and legs. This helps minimize the amount of exposed skin and reduce heat loss. In the Arctic, microorganisms can survive inside the sea ice. They serve as the base of the tundra's food web, feeding everything from zooplankton to whales. When bacteria sense cold temperatures, they respond by making their cell membranes rigid. Just like what happens to cooking oil in the refrigerator, the fluidity of their cell membranes is reduced at cold temperatures. For viruses, the cold is actually better than the heat. When a virus binds to a cell, their surface proteins trigger so the virus can enter it. Heat, on the other hand, causes auto-triggering, which can inactivate the virus. DNA also fares better in the cold because chilly temperatures help prevent it from breaking down. That's why we have more ancient DNA samples from regions that are cold than from regions that are hot. So, while humans shiver to keep warm, organisms all around us are finding their own way to cope and thrive in the winter season. Can you think of other ways that organisms deal with the cold?